Hi, my name is Spike Millington. I am Chief Executive of the East Asia and Australasian Flyway Partnership. Uh, our partnership brings together 32 different countries, national governments and non-governmental and intergovernmental organizations to protect migratory water birds uh, throughout the flyway, all the way from their breeding areas in uh, Arctic Alaska and Russia, through East Asia and Southeast Asia, to, for some of them, their wintering grounds in Australia and New Zealand. Um, I'm here today to uh, celebrate uh, World Migratory Bird Day. Every year, World Migratory Bird Day is celebrated on the 10th and 11th of May. Um, and it really is a celebration of uh, the wonder that is the migration of these birds. To see thousands and thousands of, of shorebirds on their, on their northerly migration in their breeding plumage, concentrating at, at a number of sites is an attractive spectacle that many people travel many miles to see. Here in Korea, where the um, Secretariat for EFP is based, we have this uh, wonderful spectacle of the Baikor teal, which spend the winter here. And in the evenings, they congregate on lakes and reservoirs and perform these magnificent aerial evolutions, hundreds of thousands of birds moving in unison. And this is a well-known, attractive spectacle here, and people from all over the country come to see these birds and photograph them and really celebrate the fact that, uh, that our migratory uh, Baikor teal are spending the winter here in, in, in South Korea, and it's almost 90% of the population that do this. So this year, our theme for Migratory Bird Day is Migratory Birds and Sustainable Tourism. And this makes a lot of sense simply because of the spectacle that is offered by, by migratory birds on their migration. And the interest it generates not just in the birds, but also the fact that they are undertaking these huge journeys every year from their breeding grounds all the way down and all the way back up again. And so I, the theme of this year's um, uh, Migratory Bird Day I think is very apt and it also goes along with a, a program by uh, the UN World Tourism Organization to support a project called Destination Flyways which has identified a number of sites in the different flyways of the world including two in our flyway, one in China, Dongming Dongtan, Dongming Dongtan, and the other in Korea, the Kum Estuary. Um, and it's identified these sites to try to link um, the benefits of tourism with the local community development, with conservation of the habitats of these migratory birds. So they're all very interlinked, and I think this is a, a very timely initiative. What we're seeing throughout our flyway in all the different countries is more and more initiatives to celebrate uh, migratory water birds. We're seeing festivals uh, for cranes, for sandpipers in China. Um, in Australia, they have a farewell shorebirds program where they're actually celebrating the departure of the shorebirds as they begin their northward migration. And they're following birds throughout, the, um, throughout their journey to try to, to really generate more interest and knowledge and capture the enthusiasm of people for this amazing migration. So I think that, that uh, sustainable tourism is a very important part of uh, the development of, of the areas where, where these birds pass through on their, on their migration. I think we do need to be able to demonstrate to local communities that these birds are there very often people don't know that their sites, their towns, their wetlands are being used by these birds in such numbers on this amazing migration. And so we try to raise awareness of, of this phenomenon, uh, try to engage local communities, local municipalities, uh, and uh, other stakeholders to not only not only enjoy the spectacle, but also try to think of ways how we can really generate the kinds of benefits that are going to accrue to local communities where there is really strong backing for conservation of, of water bird habitat throughout the flyways. So what we have done here is we have, uh, you see our World Migratory Bird Day poster here, 
We've translated it into different languages for the different countries along our flyways, and we're encouraging uh, our partners to hold celebratory events um, in their own countries. And so I would like to, with this message, wish all our partners uh, the very best of luck in their, in their celebrations. And it really is something that, that brings all the countries together and uh, is really a celebration of migratory birds. Thank you.